rebel tanner, but I wouldn't do it. Oh, wait a minute. I don't got that. Hold on. Rob, the bomb is preparing to lift. It's the most important step in canning. I'm, I'm over corn at this point. That's wrong. I see light. Woo! You want the gauge facing you. Wait, it's gonna go chicka 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 No, 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 not yet, no. Did you hear that? Don't chicka open the lid. Should we tell the people what I did? What did you do? I read the book. No way. Hi everybody, welcome back. Guess what I'm doing today? I'm canning, canning corn. And you didn't think I'd do this by myself, did you? I have a friend. She's helping me. Does everybody know who this is? This is Peggy from Page Family Homestead. No, it's not Andy. She has graciously offered to help me in my first canning corn. I've never canned corn before. So we're gonna do this together and we thought it would be fun. We have our jars filled up. They're in the canner all ready to go. Now what do we do? Help. Now you remember your, th your safety check before you run your canner. Yes. We're going to, honey, you want to get the lid over there? Rob's going to let Rob finish doing this with my direction and yours. You want to look through the, um, the lid there. This hole, can you see through there? I see light. Okay, now try the other side. I see light. Okay, now check okay. the seal. Is it okay? It's all the seal on the bottom. Your gasket. Yes, I mean, it looks, everything looks good. Okay, all right, we're good. Now what? Put it on your canner. You want the gauge facing you. See this? See that arrow? Put that arrow right here. Did add water? No, we did add the water. Does that have to, yeah. have to cover? You're good. Okay, I, I'm just I'm just taking, taking all the options. My microwave, look how close it is. And I have a glass top stove. So, I might need to help him put this lid on. See this arrow right here? Stop, lift it up. Okay, See lift that? the arrow. That arrow needs to go right okay, next see, to there. I'm looking for the notches here. Yeah, and then, and then right, yeah, lock it. Tight. We don't need to put the weight on there right yet, do we? No, 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 not yet, no. Okay. No. This? I, I don't know where we're at. Okay, can I see your canner? Now you want, the gauge is facing you. You want to turn your heat, say, to number seven. Okay. That's this one, right? You'll see people crank it to number 10 or the highest to bring it up to the point where you're going to get your 10 minutes of steady stream. That's wrong. When you cool a, a canner, you do it slowly. You bring the pressure down slowly so that you don't initiate purging from your jars. Same thing when you heat it. You want to bring that pressure up slowly. So put it on number seven. Okay. That way you're not... You're well, our seven is high. It's uh, sipping from your jars. Our, our seven one. is high. I, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. On my oven, this is like a double burner on this one. Okay. It has right. a large burner and then a smaller burner in it. The large burner can... It's a quick boil but I can turn it way down low. In order for this whole pan to sit on that burner, I'm gonna put it on that quick heat and put it on three. You do not want to elevate the heat quickly. What you're doing is you're gonna put your heat on and you're gonna just stay in the kitchen because you're gonna wait for, see that little spigot at the top? Yes. You're gonna wait for a steady stream of steam. We must have that for 10 full minute is the most important step in canning it expels all the air out of the canner so that you're left with a environment of steam if you don't expel that 10 minutes you're leaving an environment of steam and air that will result in an incomplete process okay i can't can it to the heat that it needs to get to in order to eliminate botulism which is odorless, tasteless, and deadly. So use this 10 minutes of steady stream of steam. Make sure you get all the air out of that canner so that you're achieving the, the, the heat and the pressure that you need to make your food safe. All right, now I have another question. While, yeah. while this is starting to heat up, it was hard for me to find this canner right now with the world the way yeah. it is today. My daughter got an electric canner for 
uh, some she had one. Somebody gave it to her. Could I have used that in instead of this? People do, and it's, it's sad. It's unfortunate. I wish they would just take the time to go to uh, the Google and ask the question, is it okay to use an electric pressure canner? Do you want me to read it? Because I don't know it by heart. I always heard it was bad. And it was very interesting when I did research it. Electric pressure cookers are being advertised as an acceptable way to process home canned foods. Important fact, USDA does not endorse using their canning process for processing times in the electric pressure cook appliances. They're acceptable for cooking, but not canning. And which is a good point, too, because they don't expel air for 10 minutes. They don't vent for 10 minutes prior to putting the weighted gauge on. They don't even give you the option due to your elevation. Do you need a 5 pound weight, a 10 pound weight, 15 pound weight? They, they will claim that they get the right pressure in their canner, and they do, in the canner, but not in the content of the jar. So it's really a high risk of introducing botulism to your food and every penny I spend on food I want to preserve it so my family is safe and healthy I don't want to worry when I open up a jar of beans or meat or vegetables that there's going to be the silent killer in that jar do not use them please don't use them look it up on the Google there's an interesting article I'm gonna send it to you Michelle okay you can decide if you would add it to your your video Okay, maybe I can link it in the description. Tell your daughter, Mommy's got a canner, you can borrow it. The electric canner, um, it was, it used to be my just my personal opinion, just from what I gleaned from other, other canners and, and people um, that I know that can. However, after researching it and reading multiple articles about the subject, even though I'm a rebel canner, it's not my personal opinion anymore. It's fact. I, seriously, people, if you're using them, please research. Please check it out. Make sure you know what you're getting into. Yeah, I, I just went on Google and asked, asked Google the same question. And it even, even and goes in and mentions the Instapots. About for canning? Yes. It what? It, it even mentions canning with Instapots. It says, yeah, uh, it's bad. Yeah, it using, using electric pressure cookers for small batch Low acid canning may not destroy the bacteria that is responsible for botulism poisoning. There you go. It says right here, electric pressure cookers such as the Instapot, Instant Pot and the Power Pressure Cooker XL have become increasingly popular in recent years and have been hailed for their versatility. Some manufacturers even claim that devices can be used for pressure canning. However, canning experiments recently conducted dispute these claims according to the preliminary findings by the uh, Utah State University Extension professors, professors. It says that they do not sustain the temperatures necessary for canning low acid foods, such as vegetables, beans, meat, yeah. poultry, fish, soups, safely at Utah, at Utah altitudes. This is for Utah, but I'm sure yeah. that if it's there, it's everywhere too, so. Yeah, yeah. it's not safe, it's really not safe. All right, so it's been about I'm still on zero. Oh it, yeah, okay, here's what's gonna happen. So, put your hand on your top of your canner. <laughs> you, can, you can still put your hand on it, right? It's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's both phones are... some time. I don't know your stove. You know your stove. You're okay. gonna have to play with it. You don't want it on full power. Okay. You just want it on medium high. There okay. you go, medium high. Okay. Hold that. Help. Help. Really? I'm going to turn the oven up and I, I need a free hand. Okay. Hold on here. Let me. Okay, there. It's... When it starts, your, your, your little gauge isn't going to move because you don't have your weight on it. Oh, your okay. Regulator. I also. So when you put that on, that's when you're going to see your gauge going up. That's the fun part. So right now, your baby's sitting until that spigot goes okay I did turn this a little and bit so that the spigot doesn't blow steam right up the front of the microwave I yeah. can see that here or not. Well, and do you see this extra plug back here you don't want that under the microwave either okay that rubber that gasket. Extra plug, what's gonna happen is when you have pressure it's gonna pop up 
this, okay. this one or that's this one? Is that what it is? A pop-up button? This here is the one that pops up. I can't see. It says right on top. That's, and then go. we've got that the one in the back. That one is your emergency poofer. If you screw up and leave it and walk out and go wash your car and forget your canning, that thing is going to explode off and release the pressure so you don't have a bomb. Okay. That's good to know. Let's not do that. All right, now I had another question. I forgot to ask you when we were doing when we were when I was putting the corn in over there. I like butter in my corn. Can I? Could I have put right. butter in there? When we can meats, which is a fat, you can't eliminate all fats for certain things. So it can be done, but why do it? Why introduce a risk? You're processing it at the time needed for corn if you're going to add a fat in there I, I i i wouldn't do i'm a rebel canner but i wouldn't do it i mean you're opening it up you're going to dump it into a pot you're going to heat it up throw your pot of butter in at that time for calling peggy Hello. hi it's it's us and i think that it's time can you hear it it's a it's a steady it's steady a steady stream of every I can't it's steady. Steady stream of steam. Yeah, steam, yeah, steam. It's steady. Okay, set your timer for ten minutes. Ten minutes. Alright, got it. Oh, wait a minute. I don't got that. Hold on. Okay. Timer set for ten minutes. And you're gonna leave it. You're not gonna adjust the temperature. You're not gonna do anything. Alright, timer okay. is set. I have six minutes left. And we're almost there. We're almost there. So when the timer goes off, we're going to call Peggy back. And then we're going to put this on that little thing that's blowing steam out. Aren't you glad you're canning with me today? I know it's mass confusion, but that's our life. And if you're learning from us, I hope, I hope you could learn something. Because I'm learning, I hope you can learn too. I hope it's just not mass confusion like my life normally is. But this is so exciting. Now tomorrow I have a lot more corn to do, but I'm probably not going to film this. This is the only time that I'm going to film this. Quite frankly, if you've been watching all of our corn videos, I'm, I'm over corn at this point. I'm over corn. Next is going to be hot peppers. We're going to do something with the hot peppers and oil and garlic and lots of good stuff. Wait for that video. I might even try to dehydrate some peppers. I don't know. We've got five minutes left. If you notice, I have a glass top stove here. Glass top stove. All right. And I, what I'm finding is this front burner is like a double burner. It's a smaller one and a bigger one. That's a quick heat. I've kept this on number six and the heating up process, that's worked good. Now once we put this little thing on there, I'm not sure what we're going to have to do with the stove temperature, but I'll keep you informed, trust me, you're going to know. Timer's going off. Timer's off. Camera's on, timer's off. Alright, okay, good girl. Good girl, now you're going to take your weight and put it on. Is this going to burn me? No, you do it just to Woo! Okay, that's good. Leave, Leave it, it alone. <laughs> 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 that was fun. Okay. It's on solid, right? Yes. It's on solid? Yes. Watch your gauge. I'm bringing it to watch the gauge. Okay. So we're going to wait until it hits 11 pounds of pressure. Okay. And your, and your little weight is going to go chicka 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 That, that first chicka 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 is when you start your 55 minute timer. Okay. And then what we're going to do is watch to make sure it doesn't climb to 12 or 13. You're going to lower the heat. If it does, you're going to lower the heat one by one and wait five minutes to make sure it stays at 11. And when you get it to the point where it stays at 11, that's your solid piece. That's where you stay. Okay. Should we tell the people what I did? What did you do? I read the book. Yes, she did. She read the book. No way. I did. I read the book. I read the book and it said 
11, what did it say? Wait a minute. 11 pounds of pressure for 55 minutes. That's what my book said, and I read the book, so. Pressure's going up. Oh, for, the it, for, the, for the pints, yes. The quarts were a little yeah. longer. We're not doing quarts. That's right. All right. That's right, we're not. It's going up. Is it moving? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Rob, the bomb is preparing to lift. Oh, look, your little button has popped up. When that thing is up, you never open that thing. Ever, 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 ever. Don't need to worry about that. Don't be doing that. Did you hear that? Don't she open the lid. We're not opening the lid. Isn't this fun? It's about four pounds. What time are you at now? I mean, what PSI are you at? About four. four. About four. Can you see it? You wait. Yeah, I can see it now. So when it gets to 11 or 10, when it gets to 10, it's going to... Then we set the timer for 55 minutes when it goes starts doing the jiggle jiggle. Okay. Yes, and that's when we watch to make sure it doesn't go over 11. If it goes over 11, just adjust your heat by half a number. Okay. Now. Okay. And then wait, see if it balances to 11. If not, adjust it down another half. Just a little bit. you got to find your sweet spot on your stove. Okay. Okay, we'll do so that. You maintain 11. Yeah. Five pounds. We're at five. <laughs> We're at five, see? <laughs> That's too cool, Michelle. You're doing it. It's not that difficult, is it? Right. No. The timer went off, so we're going to shut the timer off so we don't have to keep hearing it beep. And then over here, I'm going to turn the oven off, and I'm going to let it sit here until the pressure goes down, and this thing goes down, and then we'll be back. We did it. I'm going to carry the jars over. Nothing in the canner broke. There's no corn in the bottom of the canner. So that is good. Now, there's water on the tops of some of these, as you can see. I'm going to leave it on there. Yes, leave it on there. Here's my husband. Yes, leave it on there. I'm not going to... You want to come and get these out of here? Let me see if I can do it. My first canning jar. Look at I did it. Thank you so much, Peggy. I appreciate she spent the whole afternoon with us. Did I hear a pop? Yes. That's close, isn't it? We just heard a pop. Another oh, one? another pop. There's another pop. Yay! They're popping. Don't don't tip it sideways. I know, I'm not. Okay, get it over there. About two inches apart, she said? Yes. I don't know what I was just filming, sorry. I think I was filming the window. I'm so excited. I heard a pop. This is exciting. There. There's your musket powder. Oh, yep, there's the musket powder one. Link in description, musket powder. You have to try it. Listen, I had a few I've had a few subscribers order the musket powder. And they they really like it. So you should try it too. Here it goes. Alright, we're gonna get the rest of these out of here. And maybe we can hear another one pop. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Let me get out of his way. I think I heard another pop. All right, you want to see? There you go. That's my first canning. Now there's water and stuff on the top. I'm leaving it there. I don't want, I've seen other people dump it off. I don't want to jar the jar at all. So when they're cooled down and everything, I'll take a rag and wipe that off. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Paige Family Homestead, Peggy. She spent the afternoon with me, and I appreciate that so much because I feel so much better about canning now. I feel so much better about the pressure cooker. I don't think I'm as scared of it anymore. The video may have been a little bit chaotic at times. I know that, 
but what else do you expect from me? Or here, you know, real <gasps> I heard another pop. They're popping! Oh, I'm so excited. All right, I will link in the description Paige Family Homestead. Please go check them out. She helped me so much. She has a canning playlist. She cans, like milk and flour and she's a rebel canner you want to know something hit up peggy in her comments watch her videos <sighs> thank you peggy all right we're gonna take off we he's we. still here he's helping all right we're gonna go eat dinner or something i don't know we're gonna do something i'm excited all right thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.